Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be making a cheesecake. Uh, it was a special request from a friend of mine named Justin. So, hi Justin, here's your cheesecake. Okay, so first we're going to start with the base. I'm going to use my Thermomix, but you can also um, do this recipe without a Thermomix as well. It's quite easy. It's a quick and easy cheesecake, no bake. Uh, lemon cheesecake. All right, here we go. So first we've got some packet of nice biscuits. Okay, so we'll pop them in the Thermomix and we'll zip them on um, speed four for 20 seconds. So as you can see, you can see them in there. Pop them in there. I'll pop the lid on. Put the measuring cup. So 20 seconds and speed four. Yep, make sure the lid's on properly, otherwise it won't go. Oh, doesn't want to go. That should do it. Okay, that's done. So now we've got 80 grams of butter. I'm going to melt that in the microwave, but I'm going to measure that using my um, Thermomix. So I'll put it on the scales. So we'll get 80 grams of butter. Okay, that's it. And then we'll melt that in the microwave. Okay, so I've got my melted butter. I'm going to pop that in the Thermomix. And we'll put that on, mix that up with the crushed biscuits for 20 seconds. So 20 seconds, uh, reverse speed and on speed four. Okay, so the base is quite easy. Biscuits are crushed and the um, melted butter has been mixed up with the biscuits. And there's the base. So I'll flatten that down into a pan. You can use any type of pan you like, um, and we can pop that in the fridge for after tea tonight. So we've got roast in the oven, and, and then we'll have cheesecake for dessert. And I'm sure the husband will be really happy when he <laughs> gets cheesecake for dessert, because that doesn't happen very often. Okay. Okay, so while the base is in the fridge, we're going to work on the filling. So it's a, it's a lemon filling. So what we need first is 500 grams. Philadelphia cream cheese, so that's two blocks of these. I've washed the Thermomix bowl, so that's clean. So I put that one in, and then I'll make up 500 grams of cream cheese. You can do light or not. Go in here. There go. Put that on. Now I put the lid on. And I'll zip that up, I'm going to reverse for 20 seconds on speed 4. So zip that up. There we go. Okay, so the cream cheese is whipped. Now we're going to add uh, a tin of sweetened condensed milk. So I've just used the Woolworths brand and it's 395 grams that one so we'll pop him in and then we'll mix it up again it's once again it's another 20 seconds speed four and on reverse not yet spin it to get all that in the family mix there we go Just let the kids have a bit of a lick of the leftovers Okay, so 20 seconds, reverse, speed four. The lid's being a bit temperamental today. Now, next what we add in is going to be 80 grams of lemon juice. So you can use normal lemons. I have got some very good ones at the moment. So I'm just going to use the lemon juice out of a bottle. So it's a bit easier and less messy. Okay, so we'll just scrape down the sides to make sure it's all mixed in. So mix it in together and we'll do, um, put the scales on. And as you can see, I'll give you a look. That's mixed in. So easy. So the scales and we'll put 80 grams lemon juice. 
Okay. As lemon juice is in, we're going to do that 20 seconds. Reverse and speed five. That's what you're going to need to do. Okay, so that's the point and it looks pretty good. Have a look. So what we're going to do is, the base has been sitting in the fridge, should probably be a bit longer. That's cold. So what we can do now is pour this in to the base and then we pop it in the fridge until it's set. It's usually supposed to be about three hours and I'm not sure if the family's going to be able to wait for three hours so it might be a bit before that. If you really like a, a um, one that's set really nice you can add a bit of jumps. Okay so it's probably been in the fridge for about an hour. It should be really in for about three hours. There we go. Give it a shake. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, we'll come over here. This is a spring form pan. So what we're going to do, I think it used to be my grandma's actually, this one. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> so we'll open it up over here. So the edge bit should, should go out. Let's see. Muscles. Um, <laughs> up here. Oh, look at that. We'll go like this. Look at that. Look at that. That looks pretty good. My family are eagerly waiting for their cheese, piece of cheesecake. So I'm just going to cut up a little piece. I reckon that's all we'll need. And put some on the plate. Mm -mm. Mm. You can put them in a bigger pan if you want. This is probably quite a thick. Oh dear. <laughs> So here we have the inside of the cheesecake and that. Right. Let's have a taste, shall we? Okay, so Maddie's going to have a taste test. There you go. And tell us what you think. It's hot. You could also decorate it with strawberries or whatever you like on top. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe.